Alright. We have the Indoplas Elite Tokyo Japan IgM107 glucometer here. Along with the lancets are the pricking needle. And a bunch of test strips here as well, which are securely contained in this film-like container. The IgM107 glucometer is so cheap that you would think it is a fake. It is only 300 Philippine pesos from Shop P, and what I bought is the set, which includes 200 pieces of lancets and 50 pieces of IGS-102 model compatible test strips, since you're going to need them anyway, to be able to use the glucometer, which costs 700 pesos, which is still very cheap. The known glucometers like AccuCheck can cost more than 12 times of the IgM-107 glucometer. And Doppler's Elite Tokyo Japan IgM-107 glucometer uses a 5-electro technology and do a micro blood collection with fast detection, auto-coding, and automatic stripping. It can also hold up to 250 blood sugar test records in its memory. The packaging is really nice and organized. Everything is inside this hard plastic case, and we have a manual here as well, which looks like very detailed, and I would probably need to read this, as this is the first time that I will be using a glucometer. Let's open the hard plastic case now. Okay, we have the glucometer, two AAA batteries, and the lancing device or the pricking device, which is adjustable from 1 to 5 depths of pricking. Then we have the button here to push the needle to prick. As mentioned, we have a free AAA batteries. And we have the glucometer itself here. We have about 1.5 inch monochrome LED screen at the front. At the back is where we put the batteries, and we also have holes for a speaker. At the top we have a hole where to put the test strips. The build is all plastic, but it feels very sturdy. And on the right side we have a push lever to eject the test strip. The device looks good. It's small, compact, but feels very solid. It definitely do not feel like a 300 pesos glucometer. Before we set up the device, here's a quick scan of the user manual to get you familiar with the parts and what the display and the screen means. Okay. To use the IgM107 glucometer, we of course need to power it. Let's just push down the opening at the back so we can put in the two AAA batteries inside. Just follow the image embossed in the battery containers for its orientation. And by the way, the battery life of this glucometer is amazing. I have been using this for more than 3 months now, and I have not changed the batteries yet. Just slide the cover up again to close the back. There's no on or off button here, so the device will automatically turn on. The blinking number is the one you're setting. Just press the left button to adjust, and the right button to move to the next item. The big number at the bottom is the year, so let's set it to 24. Let's then press the right button. The blinking number is the month. Next is the day then the hour, and then the minutes. Press the right button again and at the bottom, you can select your preferred unit between milligrams per deciliter or millimoles per liter. I'll be selecting milligrams per deciliter, which is the most commonly used unit for blood sugar here in the Philippines. Press the right button again, and the device will turn off automatically after a few seconds. If you want to go back to the setup screen, when the device is turned off, press and hold the right button for 3 seconds. There we go. We are back to the setup screen, and you can set the date, time and unit again. Alright. Time to test this if it is indeed working. First thing to do is to set up the lancing pen. Just twist the top counterclockwise to remove it. Then we need to get one lance. This is a sterile needle which we'll use to prick the finger. The flat circle side is the cap for the needle, so we need to stick the cylindrical side into the white plastic spot in the lancing device. Just stick it in there. When you hear a click, that means you already cocked the lancing device for pricking. Now just twist the flat circle from the lance to remove it and reveal the needle. Then let's put the top part of the lancing device back on. Just place it properly and twist clockwise. Usually, when you push the lance into the lancing device, you have also cocked the lancing device. If not, you just need to pull the back of the lancing device until you hear a click. It's like cocking a gun, readying it to be fired. In this case, cocking the lancing device, readying it to prick our finger later. Then you can adjust the pricking length between 1 to 5. For me and my wife, we only use number 2, as number 3 or higher pricks deeper into our skin, and it hurts. Number 2 is enough for us, but this will depend on how thick your skin is. This longer pull-out button here is the ejector of the lance. Okay, our lancing device is ready to go. Now let's get the glucometer ready. We need to get one testing strip. With the PCV part facing up, let's put that in the testing strip slot on the glucometer. The glucometer will then automatically turn on, displaying random numbers at first, and after a few seconds it will clear. We will then see the blood drop icon blinking, indicating that it is now ready to receive the blood from the testing strip. Now we will need to prick our finger. 
any finger will do, and it is advisable to prick the side of the finger, instead of the top, since it is a less painful area, and there's the same amount of nerve ending in the sides anyway, so there will also be blood. Let's spray an alcohol first to disinfect. Point the lancing device in the finger, then push the button. The first drop of blood should be wiped out. Then let your finger bleed again, just enough amount to be placed in the testing strip. Okay, that's too few. I need more blood. There we go. The device will count down from 8 seconds and display the result. Okay. I have 77, which is quite low, and I think it is accurate since I am really starving now. My last meal was about 5 hours ago. A few moments later. Alright. Maybe around 1 hour after taking my dinner, I again took a test, and it is high now. My wife also took a test twice, and we think the device is working well. After testing, you can use the testing ejector in the side of the glucometer, or just simply pull out the strip, which I recommend, since the ejector is a bit too forceful in ejecting the strip. Then don't forget to remove the lance from the lancing device as well. This is very important especially if other people will be using the lancing device, as we don't want to spread any diseases. Both the testing strip and lance should be disposed properly. And after that, just return the glucometer and lancing device to the case and keep it safe. That's it. As mentioned earlier, this IgM107 glucometer can hold up to 250 records in its memory. Right now I am flashing in the screen the part in the manual discussing how to view and operate these memories from the device. You can pause the video to read through them. Okay. Just to give you a bit of a demo, while the glucometer is turned off, pressing the left button once will turn it on and display the latest blood test done, which is record number 1. It will show the date and time above and the reading in the big numbers. Pressing the right button again will go to the next record, also showing the same details. Then pressing the left button will obviously go back to the previous record. And that's it. That's how easy it is to view all your previous blood tests. If you leave the device without pressing anything, after 15 seconds it will automatically turn off. In case you encounter an error while using the IgM107 glucometer, here are the possible error codes that you might encounter, what are their meanings, and how to solve it. Again, just pause the video in case the scrolling is too fast for you. Alright. I am very happy with my purchase of the Indopolis Elite Tokyo Japan IgM107 glucometer. I've been using this for more than 3 months now, and I have never encountered any issues yet, plus the battery consumption is really optimized. As I've mentioned earlier, up to now, I'm still using the original battery that came with the box, and me and my wife are doing a test at around 12 times per week in total. When we ate a lot of sugar or food with starch within the day, it gives a high reading correctly, and when I do a test while I am starving, it constantly gives out a low reading. But as a full disclosure, we have not used any other glucometer in our life, this is the first one, so my review might be subjective. So what I did is watch a lot of comparison videos between the top brands like Omrind, Sinocare, AccuCheck, and more, and in most of these video, the Indopolis Elite Tokyo Japan brands always produce the closest results to AccuCheck and Sinocare, which for me, gives at least an assurance that the quality of the results is on par with these expensive glucometers. But that, for someone like me and my wife who was recently diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and looking to test your blood sugar from time to time, I highly recommend Indopla's Elite Tokyo Japan IgM107 glucometer, as it can give you accurate results without breaking the bank. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Milisuch for watching. Nobut Air.